terms. What I will rate this show between 1 to 10, the lowest would be a 5 and the highest would be a 7. And I'm being generous. My problems with Blade of the Immortal is that the main character, Rin, even though she drives the plot of this anime, she was far too weak, weak minded, and didn't learn from her mistakes. Basically, every episode, she got captured by the interview members except two times, and that's because those members weren't really pursuing her and Manji that much. Now, she's weak minded because mostly all the interview members, except the same two that didn't capture, easily manipulated her and made her want to do, want to die, or do what they told her to do, and easily break her resolve, which should have, which shouldn't have happened, because what she's trying to do is kill the interview members who killed her mother and father. Last, she didn't learn from her mistakes because she disobeyed what Manji told her to, to do. And many times, this caused her to get captured and almost killed. For example, the second and last episode, she trained with Manji and Manji told her her throwing weapons would only work on a very big person. Or dude and her swordsmanship will only work on an amateur also he told her the flaws of both her throwing weapon and her swordsmanship and both would get her killed in a real battle and he even explained how strong the interview guys was when she was in the forest she saw the interview leader and he was training even though she knew how powerful he was, she still tried to kill him. Even though Manji told her her weapon wouldn't work on a person. It depends on the size of the person she's throwing her weapon on. And most of her targets didn't even hit. So when she threw her weapons on the interview leader, only one knife hit the leader and later he easily captured her the only reason why she's alive is because the Itsuriyu leader seen that her moves wasn't the same as what her father taught her and that she was going through the same path as he was going through because she was doing a different move style from what her father taught her which would be against the rules of what her dojo taught her to do and my last problem with the show is that this show didn't have a complete ending and the leader of the interview member wasn't defeated and this show didn't even Tell us about what happened to the members that were trying to recruit Manji that much. They didn't they didn't explain anything what happened to those guys.